So on the last uh, air raid siren control panel uh, video we did, uh, the gentleman had sent us down a Venner Auto Whaler to uh, hook up to the uh, panel to get it working. Um, he did actually in fact send us two, so this is the second one uh, from his collection. As we can see this one was in slightly worse condition. Uh, there's a snapped off uh, cover bolt there which we'll have to have a look at um, but we're just gonna we've got it hooked up to the RCD temporary supply just with a little 240 volt baby siren so we'll just give it a go so the attack white side that's working nicely there so again that's just a shorting bar across the contacts down the bottom that activates that but on the time switch side we don't have anything running up at all on the attack red so what we do, we'll just disconnect that from the power to see if we can manually forward that timer mechanism. Just had a little click there, so hopefully that would be the on position. We'll try that attack red again. So we've got it running on the contact, but uh, it doesn't seem that the uh, timer switch motor is uh, actually moving round to clicking and out. So what we've probably got here is uh, the coil gone inside. So luckily I do have a small selection of spare coils there. So it does mean we'll have to take the timer module out and strip the whole mechanism down because unfortunately the coil does sit right in the centre of that. So we'll pop a spare coil in it and just see if we can get that to uh, run up properly. Okay, so first job, we just need to get the timer module out. So we've already uh, loosened off the screw uh, and just moved the little arm out of the way there. And that usually holds the uh, timer module down on the clamp there. Uh, it does just, as I say, I've pre-loosened that as it's a two-handed job. But you can see the uh, poles there, which go into the sockets at the bottom there. We do all the electrical connections. And just down the bottom there is the uh, earth strap for the... Uh, timer module and that just goes onto the casing and just pushes up against that bar there to keep it all left so next job we'll get this unit opened up and stripped down and uh, we'll get the coil changed out and hopefully we'll have the attack red cycling Okay, so we've got our auto whaler stripped down so that we can now see the original coil. So that's this uh, unit just here, which as you can see is looking uh, pretty grim there. So we've got a replacement one there. It is a Venna coil, but this one's come out of a PT4 switch. But um, I have found they are interchangeable with these. So there's all our parts we've stripped out. Uh, what we've got to do, we just got to disconnect this old coil from the... Uh, electric contacts there, uh, wire in a new one, uh, and then we'll get it all rebuilt and we'll give it a test.
Okay, so we've got a new coil inserted in there. You can just see it through that little view hole in the side of the carriage there. Uh, there's our old one there, which, uh, as you can see, was uh, pretty minging. But we'll see if we can get that rewound at some point, and then that gives us uh, another spare there. So just going to get all this back together now. We're just going to make sure the uh, earthing screws on the bottom line up with this earthing strap on the casing here. So uh, this unit will be earthed uh, to the main case of the auto whaler. And then we'll get all the uh, cogs and other bits back put in there and uh, we'll give her a quick run test. Okay, so we've got the unit back together now. We've got it hooked up to the RCD supply again and uh, just a little baby test siren. Um, so we'll replace the coil in this now. So hopefully the uh, electric motor inside the mechanical part will now have some life and the attack red uh, whale should now be working. Okay, so we'll just give it a quick final test. So if the uh, motor coil is working now, uh, we should get a, about a five seconds on, three seconds off on the alert red. So we'll give that a go.